Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Normally, I don't do a video on the same topic two times in a row, but this time I'm going to do it because I think it's worthy of another video. So in my last video, I highlighted DTOS. That's the new distribution made by Derek Taylor at DistroTube. And in that video, I showed some of the bugs that were in it and things that were not working properly. Well, he's released another ISO and he's fixed those things and he's added some other features to it. And today, I'm gonna take a look at it. So, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the Brave browser and I'm gonna type in sourceforge.net and I'm gonna go to the search field and I'm gonna type in DTOS. And you can see it's right here, I'm gonna click it on. And I'm going to scan down. So the video I made a few days ago was from the April 17th ISO. Now he's calling them alpha because it's still in the testing stage or the production stage, right? And it's not the final product. So I made my video using the April 17th ISO. Since then, he uploaded an ISO on April 18th and another ISO today, April 20th. And this is the ISO I'm going to use from April 20th because, like I said, he fixed some of the bugs and the errors that were in it and he added some new features. So now I'm going to close my uh, web browser. So, one of the things you need to know about the DTOS is that you can only use it with UEFI, it won't work with legacy BIOS. And before in the other ISOs, if you tried to do it in uh, legacy BIOS, you'd go through a whole install. And then when the install was finished and you went to reboot, you couldn't get into it. So what he's done is he's added a message in here that's going to detect that you're using legacy BIOS and it won't let you go through the install. And another thing he added here was making the font larger in the TTY. So I'm going to show you that first. So when you're in a TTY and you've booted up to the ISO, if you just type in big font, hit enter, there you go. You have the nice large font. <laughs> now, like I said, this virtual machine I made is with legacy BIOS. So instead of going through a whole install and then finding out you can't reboot into it, this is what's going to happen. And type in DTOS install. Look what happens. You get an error message. Your system is using legacy BIOS. DTOS only supports UEFI installations. To install DTOS, you must enable UEFI on this machine. How about that, eh? Isn't that fantastic? So those are the two changes that he's made or that he's added onto the ISO. So I've already gone through an install using the April 20th ISO that came out today. And I'm not going to go through an install on camera because I did that in my last video. And going through the install is the same, except for those two new features. Now, another feature that he's added to this April 20th ISO is that you can turn the conky on and off. So if you do shift, mod key or shift super key T it goes off shift super key T and it's back on now a thing that he fixed was that in the April 17th ISO when you changed the resolution the conky disappeared and then if you went back to the default resolution the conky reappeared so he fixed that so let's open up a terminal and let's type in x render dash s 1360 by 768 okay because this is the resolution i always use in my virtual machines and let's just close the terminal oh the conky has gone but wait if we do shift super key or mod key t here it is and there's the conky so now you can see and one of the really nice things about the conky is that it gives you uh, a few of the key binding configurations for Derek's Qtile window manager. It get, it's enough to get you started. Okay, so shift mod key T shuts it. Shift mod key T turns it back on and it works in this larger resolution because like I said in the April 17th ISO and on the April 18th ISO, when you change the resolution, the conky was gone. So he fixed that. And another thing that he changed was, oh, and I'm blocking the conky. How about that? Let's fix that. There you go. So now you can see the conky and it's nice and large so you can read it. And like I said, there's key bindings here. 
enough to get you started. Now, another new thing he added was this. I really like this one. If you click on DTOS, it brings up a whole page of Derek's key bindings for Qtile Window Manager. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? And now my face is in the way again, eh? I keep getting in the way. Look at all this. So if you don't know how to use Qtile or you don't know how to use Derek's Qtile because he has his own key bindings, go here and look at this list. Isn't this fantastic? I really like this and I'm really impressed. Okay, now we just hit escape, takes us out of there. And I'm just going to bring me back because I'm blocking the conky. I don't like blocking the conky. <laughs> now, um, something that was broken, the CPU was broken in my last video. Now, the CPU is not supposed to do anything. Like, you can't click it on and it's not going to do anything. It just gives you your CPU is at. But it wasn't working in my last video. And now it is. He's fixed it. Now, also, the memory. The memory was kind of broken. So the memory does two things. Number one, it tells you how much RAM you're using. But if you click it on, it's going to open up HTOP. Now let's close HTOP. So in my last video, clicking it on was working and it was opening HTOP. But the message here was broken. And it wasn't giving you the amount of RAM you're using right here. Like you can see, I'm using 445 megabytes of RAM. Uh, there was an error message. So he fixed that. Now, in my last video, this volume icon was broken and it was showing M and it wasn't working. It wasn't doing anything. So now he's fixed it. So right now it's showing the volume is at 73%. And if I put my mouse over it and move my wheel down, I can change the volume to 46 or I can bring the volume rate down to zero. So the volume is at zero now. Now I can move my mouse wheel up and bring it back up to 100 or to wherever I want it. And if I click it, it's going to be an M. So the M means it's muted. So now the volume is muted. And in the last video, it was always muted. The M was there now. Actually, the audio was working and there was sound, but it said M and it was like a dead link. So like I said, he's fixed it. And let's try it and see if it's working. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute my mic. So I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to go up here and mute it. And then I'm going to show you how the volume changes. Okay. Welcome to another edition of DT Live. For those of you hanging out in the YouTube about 20 seconds or so for the delay on an answer or i could preview the stream a little bit yeah looks like i've got yay from ratmore appreciate that yeah type the link in your youtube i don't know the link to what so you could see that when i click it on it mutes the volume and when I use my wheel, I hover over it and use my wheel, it puts the volume down. Right down to zero if you want, or up, or up to whatever you want. So I think that's really great, that's fantastic. Now another thing that got changed since the April 17th ISO is the swap. So before, it, on the April 17th ISO, his installer was an automatically installing swap that matched your RAM. So if you had four gigs of RAM, you were going to get four gigs of swap. If you had eight gigs of RAM, you were going to get eight gigs of swap. So he changed that now and he cut it in half. So if we open up uh, HTOP, this virtual machine I made has four gigs of RAM and two gigs of swap. So I think that's a lot better. That way you're not wasting uh, hardware space. And that's it. In this video, I took a look at the April 20th ISO from Derek Taylor, DTOS. And I showed how he fixed some of the errors or the bugs that were occurring on the April 17th ISO. And I also showed how he added some new features. Now, this wasn't intended to be a long video, and it wasn't intended to be a video that gives you a complete tour of his 
system because I showed more of that in my last video. And also Derek made a, a live stream video, I think it's over an hour and a half, showing what the system is all about. And I think he's planning to do some more videos showing how to use the system because there's a lot more to the system than what I showed in today's video or my video from this past Friday. So I'm just going to say that I think this is really fantastic. I, I'm really impressed with the way he made this distribution. We made DTOS. I'm really impressed with it. I'm impressed with the way he fixed the bugs really fast. He was on top of it. And I'm impressed with the new features. And I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Now, I can't show you my two thumbs because my background remover is not working that great. <laughs> So like I said, I'm really impressed and give it a spin. Take it out for a drive and give it a spin. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mitch.